In today's episode, we'll be discussing the upcoming Grand Stream. We'll also be talking about a new themed challenge for July and announcing World UFO Day in Tanki. Hello, tankers! June has come to an end, and with it, we also wave goodbye to the Tanki birthday celebrations. Now, all that's left is to have the Grand Stream on Monday, July 1st, where we'll be drawing the names of more than a hundred lucky tankers. Some will become crystal millionaires, while others will win iPhones, iPads and other cool prizes. So, if you're watching us on Friday, this is your final chance to jump into the big contest or buy the Tanky Fund bundle. The Grand Stream will actually be part of a bigger live stream. The first part will be a direct link from the Russian live stream, where Kasim will be drawing the winners and Cedric will be commenting in English. In the second part, Cedric and Simeon Struzak will be answering some of your hottest questions about the game. The live stream starts at 5 p.m. UTC. Don't be late! For technical reasons, the start of the July challenge will be delayed by a day. It will start on Tuesday, July 2nd. And of course, the new challenge also brings with it a new war. This time, with World UFO Day at the doorstep, we felt it would be appropriate to have a space-themed war. Let's find out who is stronger – Earthlings, Martians or Venusians. To participate in the war, you need to join one of the factions by purchasing the distributor paint. After that, just earn stars. The first faction that reaches 6 million stars wins. At the end of the war, the members of the winning team will receive prizes based on the total number of stars they earned throughout the entire challenge. Also, all participants who have scored more than 2200 stars, regardless of faction, will take part in the drawing of the excellent 5.1 Plus smartphone from our new partners Nokia. That's a nice little extra, don't you agree? Earlier in this episode, we mentioned UFO Day, so what about it? Just like the July challenge, UFO Day celebrations will be kicking off on July 2nd. The event will last six days. Here's what we've prepared for you. Festive decorations and gifts, special bundles in the shop, and of course, discounts. Shop items on Friday, garage items on Saturday, and upgrades with speed ups on Sunday. And of course, it would not be a UFO Day without meteorites. Throughout the celebrations, all gold boxes and matchmaking battles, including the ones you drop, will be meteorites. Oh, and the drop rate will be tenfold! It's gonna be an explosive week! And as an extra cherry on top of the galactic cake, all drones will get a special look for the celebrations. Spacey! Last episode, we gave you a special preview of what the new HTML5 interface in the game will look like. Today we're showing you the battle interface, or HUD as it's often called. This design is not yet final, but you might notice an interesting detail. Can you spot it? Maybe it will make it into the final release. And since we're on the topic of the new version, let's once again touch upon the topic of Chrome's dislike for Flash. In a couple of weeks, playing Tanky on Chrome will become very inconvenient. So we're offering you three options for playing Tanky. The first is using the Tanky Flash client. Just download it from the official homepage and install it with a couple of clicks. To be fair, not everyone loves the client. For some, it works great. Others have had some issues with it. The second option is to play the current HTML5 version of the game. Just click the link in the vlog's description. A decent graphics card is highly recommended. The third option is to play in a browser. Very soon, playing in Chrome will become highly impractical, so we recommend that you use other browsers. If you absolutely need to play on Chrome, we'll provide you with additional instructions. Once Chrome is updated, it's your call. In the meantime, Teo Mobile is about to get new control settings. New players will get these settings by default. But if you've already been playing, the system will keep the existing controls and you will need to change to the new setup in the settings menu. It's not practical to explain all the differences here. We recommend that you just dive in and try them for yourself. Additionally, with this release, we'll be implementing a mechanism for mobile players, which will help them aiming. Basically, it's horizontal auto-aiming. Projectiles will hit the target even if the turret is slightly off to the side. It looks a bit strange when it happens with two static tanks, but in battle it's unnoticeable. Plus, it will greatly simplify the game on smartphones. If this is your first time hearing about TO Mobile and you have an Android smartphone, turn on your phone's camera, scan this QR code, and the game will always be in your pocket. Now it's time for our weekly YouTuber digest. Let's start with Mr. Thunder, who takes up a challenge from a viewer to build a tower of mammoths. 
That's some heavy stuff. Next, Jumper shows off some cool XP skills. Watch and get inspired, especially if you're planning on joining one of the upcoming esports events. And to conclude, a spectacular race with overdrives from one of the many events organized by our dedicated events team. Footage courtesy of Martin. Next week holds many exciting things. We'll be discovering the lucky winners of the big prizes from our June celebrations, and we'll be getting a healthy dose of meteorites and other goodies. Remember to tune in on Monday, July 1st, for the grand live stream. Simon Strujak will be there to answer your hottest questions. That's all for today, tankers. See ya! A week ago, Gauss fired a shot into a crowd of tanks on the roof of the future map. You had to guess how many tanks would explode. The correct answer is 3. Here are our winners, and here's the new question.